Australia we have seen just the general introduction about the data structure. So, so today we will, uh, before going into the data structure, just we will see what is the use of the algorithm, what are all the characteristics, why you want to go for the algorithm in the data structure, everything you will see. Uh, I, generally algorithm means it is a fundamental concept in computing. Right, before writing the program, it's a basic concept. You should uh, write an algorithm because without writing the algorithm, it's a time taking or time consuming process to write uh, data structure. So, what are all the characteristics in, uh, of this algorithm? Um, main characteristics is um, yesterday itself I have told why we have to write, uh, why we are going for the data structure. So, main is uh, how the data are arranged in the memory. That is a one point. Another is uh, how the performance of the data or how the data structure performance. What is the performance means? What is the speed or how fast it is, or how much time it is consuming? That is uh, another characteristic. One is how is arranged to the memory. Second is the time consumption or speed of the data. Third is uh, manipulation of the information which is contained inside the data structure. So how it is manipulated. So these are only three concepts. Uh, for this uh, I have taken one small example that a market, market is laid out randomly. So each vendor sells a random subset of items, some of which may be on our list. So our aim is to minimize the price and the second is the time conception. Okay, how much time you are spending there to buy a product. Uh, so you have to minimize the list, uh, sorry, you have to minimize the price of the product. So how you will approach in this way? So in this, how you will approach to minimize your uh, time as well as your price. To, these, to these two bounds, you are having uh, some predictable value like if you have to spend some 5 minutes or you have to spend only 1000 rupees so there are two bounds so uh, for this we I have written I have given some three steps for, for the algorithm like so many vendors will be there in the market first um, is first constraint which you are going to take is like um, money how much you are going to spend so first we have to see does the vendor have the item on the list and it costs less than the predicted cost of the item. You will be having some predicted cost for some item. First you have to check whether that vendor is having the item which is on your list. If he is having it then you are going to buy it. If it is coming under your predicted cost of that item. If there is, if it is no, then you are going to move to the next vendor. Correct. So if yes, you are going to buy the product and you are going to remove that item from the list. If it is no, then you are going to move to the next vendor. So you have to repeat the same process for each and every vendor. Got it. So this is a... Uh, one kind of algorithm, we will tell this algorithm as a IT method, you have to check every, every uh, vendor slowly. You so are having uh, like this, different different structures are there. We will see in a little bit in the upcoming videos. Okay, thank you.